everyone dreams. In fact, we spend about 20% of our sleep time in a dream state, having at least four or five dreams each night. Now, some of those dreams are sexual, but what our sexual dreams mean and why we have them is not always clear. Evening, a time to sleep and a time to dream. Dreams serve as a window to our unconscious, offering us a glimpse into the inner workings of our mind. They may take us to exotic, faraway lands or into the private world of our sexual fantasies. Almost everybody has dreams that have sexual content. And what comes out in dreams is uh, often the sort of thing which, while disguised and censored by, uh, by your mind, reflects what's going on in your day-to-day -day life. I have sexual dreams about once a week, and they usually include um, the person that I'm dating at the time. And most often, I'm in a public place, uh, I had one dream in particular, uh, we were at a party and people from work were all there and we were in the kitchen. People were standing around drinking and, and eating and it was just a whole bunch of bizarre characters from my life just at this party in the kitchen. All of a sudden, we were in the midst of making love, like on a table, on a chopping block table in the middle of the kitchen. And nobody realized we were there. Nobody paid attention to us at all. He was on top, and I was just on my back, on the table. And then I think we sat up at one point and kind of looked around and sort of laughed. And we just couldn't believe it, but we just kept doing it because it didn't seem like the wrong thing to do. Fear of exposure. Fear of being, uh, of doing something that is morally wrong has inhibited most women. Women are very inhibited. So that dream is wish fulfillment. The idea of having sex and having everybody say, that's okay. But not every dream is pleasant. Some may even be terrifying. I have a recurring image of being attacked with, by a knife. Um, it usually starts out of sort of this feeling that there's an intruder somewhere in the room and I see this figure and I see the knife and I, as I try to get away. There's a, this very long hallway and he starts at the beginning coming after me and I run down the hallway a lot of times I try to run and I you know, can't get out of my own way. You feel like you're running, but you're not getting anywhere. That's a typical dream of, women, of a woman who has difficulty reaching orgasm because she distrusts and fears the male sex organ as a weapon. And uh, many of the female dreams have to do with a fear of penetration, fear of pregnancy, fear of punishment. Those are the three Ps, the three penis fears, you know, that women have. And that dream's a typical example. But what about male fantasies? The one recurring dream that I, that I seem to have over and over again uh, is I'm back in the backyard where I, I grew up as a child. And I'm down in the, the, the bushes, in the hedges, crawling around. Uh, like, a, like an animal, and I have hair all over my body, and I'm, I'm naked. And I'm with this woman uh, who's, who's also naked, and she also has hair all over her body, and we're like crawling around uh, in the hedges, like trying to find a place to, to make love. And just as we kind of get comfortable, and we're kind of almost getting into position, I guess, she moves away on all fours, and I'm like behind her, kind of following her, um, looking for a better spot. He recognizes his sexual drive as an animalistic drive, so he sees himself in animal fur. And also, it's a lack of confidence dream that the woman always gets away and he never quite catches her. So what are we to make of our sexual dreams? What role should they play in our lives? 
I think that people should open themselves up to whoever they are, to open themselves up to dreaming, to fantasizing, to sharing, to be free of guilt and anxiety about their thoughts and their dreams. And then they will become what nature and God intended them to be, great lovers. For most men, being intimate unfolds in a very natural way, 